friends here in this video i will describe about the cdi unit how we are testing cdi and how we will uh, see either this is working or not uh, you must watch this video complete if you will skip then you will not understand um, everything is okay um, this video give, will give you a lot of knowledge uh, so you must watch this video till end and also subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it uh, also you must comment uh, if there is any doubt uh, anything is not clear i will make it clear for you uh, so i will bring a lot of videos in front of you so then they will be helpful for you uh, here i have these two cdis you can see and these uh, cdis are very common in small bikes uh, this type of cdi is unit, unit is used uh, for cd 70 bikes uh, and this is uh, six pin this one is another unit which is used in chinese uh, replacement unit which is used in chinese bikes and this is the chinese replacement uh, exact replacement for both i mean uh, in japanese asian uh, j bikes you can install either of them either of them uh, so this one is the chinese replacement and chinese replacements are as you know they are uh, of poor quality and normally they are going bad so these japanese are good now we are going to test this there are a lot of requests i received uh, how to test this uh, unit uh, on multimeter uh, so if you have you are doing bike repair work so you should have to have a good known replacement unit so then if you will replace the cdi unit if you are in doubt then if the bike is started and it is running so it means that the cdi unit is bad uh, most of the cases this uh, cdi unit is going bad and then in such a case that you have a replacement unit then uh, you will bring it to life the bike and very easily you can diagnose that uh, the cdi was bad and it is okay but if you don't have uh, this uh, cdi replacement unit then you should have to have this multimeter and on the multimeter uh, you can diagnose there are two types of tests you can perform either a live test voltage test that's a little bit difficult uh, but that's a functional test and that's giving a good health but you can make a cold test on meter continuity range uh, so then uh, you can distinguish between a good and a bad cdi i will show you in this uh, video uh, i'm drawing a little diagram so then you will understand what the cdi is and how it is functioning in a cdi you know there is a wire and then there is a diode a forward biased and then uh, here as you can see uh, there is a silicon control rectifier or scr scr is con is connected here and then there is a capacitor which has a value uh, one microfarad normally mm, so this terminal is going out this is going to the ignition coil so i am writing as ig coil and this terminal is feeding uh, the cdi uh, so this is connected to the alternator uh, the bike alternator and it is fed uh, up from 0 volt to 400 volt uh, this alternator is providing to this cdi unit so this is a feed point and here on this diode it is going dc and then it is charging this capacitor uh, through the coil the coil is what is this sort of transformer and one side is grounded the scr side is also grounded and there is another wire which is ground is also grounded these grounds are physically connected to each other uh, so this is coming from the alternator these 400 volts are provided from here what is happening is while 400 volts are coming these dc 400 volts are come are coming to the capacitor and the capacitor is charged this one microfarad capacitor 400 up to 400 500 volt capacitor is charged through this ignition coil and when then the pulse is provided the pulse is coming from the pulsar coil uh, while the cylinder is on the top dead center the piston so then the scr is shorted and it is shorting the capacitor and the the current is passing uh, some way like this uh, so this way the current is passing through because this scr becomes short and then the positive and negative from the positive this supply is going to the ground and then uh, through the coil 
to the capacitor back uh, so this is what is the function as I explained uh, if you have any doubt then you can uh, comment me uh, you know one person said me one person told me uh, that there is no 400 volt something like that so he said that you have to check on multimeter I tested on multimeter I have this fluke meter this very good meter so then uh, this CTI is not nothing for me I mean I am the expert of this because uh, so in some way uh, 2000 and 2002 I converted many bikes from point catering point to the CDI those days uh, this knowledge was not very common uh, very few people were having this knowledge and very few bikes were there having CDI units here in our area so I was creating my own CDI units and I was connecting to the bikes and they were running and they are still running uh, so here how we are testing you know uh, using multimeter if we will see uh, from the alternator to the ground if we will check there should be no short circuited short circuit if this SCR and diodes becomes short then we will get a shot over here uh, then another thing is we have to test uh, from alternator to the coil if the capacitor and the diode is shorted then we will get a short short circuiting or a continuity over here uh, so this way we can identify how the CDI is good or bad these three components are very very much uh, problematic things in a CDI unit I mean to say they are uh, facing too much trouble because they are um, on the very much high stress so that's why uh, these becomes short circuited normally so if uh, these units I mean to say these components are going uh, open circuited then you will not get a good result but that's a very uh, rare case normally they are going short circuited so uh, on this meter uh, you can get a good result mm, so here we are going to make it on continuity and while we connect this meter on the continuity uh, then we have two props if we connect it so you can listen uh, this beep continuity is there as you can listen if you listen this continuity it means that uh, the continuity is there uh, so let us see this good unit I'm going to test it uh, these terminals I'm going to draw on a piece of paper uh, so then you will understand this is the pulse the first one uh, the second one is uh, the ground a uh, third one sometimes it's ground and sometimes it is NC uh, the fourth one upper one uh, that is alternator power and sometimes it is capacitor also mm, this is coil and this one is the key kill switch so these are the terminals uh, we, ca we can identify on the multimeter now we will test on the multimeter I will show you on the ground you have to uh, put one terminal and if I am putting here there is no continuity on the alternator terminal on the key terminal also I am not getting any continuity you can see no continuity means good so this uh, ground I am going to check there is some reading but there is no continuity uh, in this terminal this port terminal is also having no continuity uh, so it's good okay so it is showing some way out of limits uh, this means that the CDA unit is good all terminals are not showing any um, result I mean to say no continuity they are showing the upper terminals are showing no continuity uh, to the ground so means that the CDI unit is probably good if we are not getting any continuity so sure uh, the CDI would work in our bike so these upper pins should not give any continuity now this unit I am going to test it so let us see the first one terminal I am going to check as you can see the first terminal is giving the continuity it means that uh, there are some components shorted inside as you can see it is showing zero resistance and beeping also the second terminal I am testing uh, there is no continuity it is okay first one is also okay the pulsar uh, but the problem is this terminal is grounded so if it is grounded it means that some component this uh, 
coil and ground terminal is grounded so it means that the capacitor and whatever this SCR is shorted inside uh, so these components become short circuited you, you can see over here this SCR is inside uh, here and here is the capacitor this one is the one microfarad high voltage capacitor uh, so this could go defective um, either one or both are short circuited so that's why it is giving continuity uh, so these are normal problems uh, this is uh, silicon rubber they have put it in uh, what we can do is in some other video i will remove this insulation from the silicon and then I will go inside uh, this CDI unit and then I will uh, look for the short circuit uh, using my multimeter and I will replace that uh, component with a good one and then by this way uh, we will be able to repair this CDI so in some other video I will clear it for you I will remove everything uh, if you watch this video so hopefully you learned a lot uh, if you did not so you must watch it again and comment it uh, like this video uh, and you must subscribe my channel press on the bell icon press on all so then you will get my notifications thank you for watching